hey guys welcome back to my channel and yes i am here showing you guys each and every wig before they get back to normal and this is an amazon wig i'll be sure to keep the links uh for each one down below and um next i'm showing you guys this is a, a wig by uh yolova hair i actually just recently did a video on this uh, i did two videos part one part two i'll be sure to link that below as well and I just want to show you guys up close of how much glue is on there. And mind you, I haven't worn this wig in a minute, like for real. So that's why the braids still in there. Next, this is a headband wig by Love Me Hair. This was one of my favorite wigs because, of course, you know, there was like a pop on, pop off, you know, quick look. Yeah, you dig. Uh, I was just showing you guys the inside and how just ugh, look at that hair went on it and everything. That's how you know I ain't wore this wig in a minute. But anyways, start out with the silicone mix. This is the bamboo kind. I absolutely love this stuff. It actually smells super good. Kind of reminds me of like hair grease. And then of course I got the OGX. It's the coconut milk shampoo and conditioner. Crystal clear by door. That's to keep it nice and shiny. We got the restoring shampoo. Creamy nature detangling and slip. Can't forget your little comb. I, I didn't have no brush. Wait, let's, let's talk about this Dawn dish soap. We're going to get into that in a minute, okay? So I didn't have a rest, I didn't have a brush, um, lost it, whatever happened, I don't know, but I used the rat tail comb. And so getting into this first wig, this is kind of this is like one of my favorite lace fronts wig because honey, that was my very first lace front for real, for real. Okay, took down those little twists and this Don this soap, soap. I said soap, really, Don this. Oh, look at me, <laughs> Don dish soap. Okay. Let's get into this. Um, I absolutely stand by this because look at that. It was so easy getting off that glue. First thing I did was just put it on there and I kind of like use my fingernails to like scrape it a little bit just to activate it and get it, get it in. Um, what am I trying to say? Get it into that glue. Okay. And um, this is just so we can start it. So when I'm getting ready to rinse this off, honey, that glue going to slip off like nothing. So I used warm water and um, I started to detangle it a little bit. Honestly, she was balding. So I, I don't know if I'm going to wear this wig again. I honestly just wanted to clean her just in case. I don't know. I need something quick. And this is all the hair that came out. So we about to get into scraping this glue off. Look at that. This is a dry dish rag. It's clean, of course. And I am just, this is in real time. I am just slightly, I mean ever so lightly scraping that off and it was coming off so easy i didn't even shampoo nothing all i did was just use dish soap rinse it and this is the next process and of course i sped it up because i just wanted to to keep going because i was on this little for like a little minute or whatever i take my time you know i don't want to rush this type of process and i definitely didn't want to rip nothing or whatever but it was so easy coming off. I literally used the lightest touch of scraping this off and it came off like butter. And some parts I was able to peel, as you guys can see. I was able to peel that glue clean off. That Dawn dish soap does wonders. Look at that, okay? Look at it, clean, crispy, back to normal. Okay, so let's get back into it um next i'm gonna start on this uh bob wig and i'm gonna do the same process i did by scraping off some of that glue and honestly i didn't really use uh harsh glue with this wig but i still wanted to just scrape it off it anyway still get that lace clean and i think i um i think i just used the spray you know the gossipy glue spray and i mean one layer of that glue so i didn't really need to do too much to this one but just use a dawn dish soap scrape it off just a little bit 
and getting it back to normal. Now, the reason why I told you I had that rat tail comb because that is all I had. Like, that's literally all I had. And honestly, that finger det detangling, it's only going to get you so far if it ain't your natural hair. So, I had to do what I had to do. But keep in mind, oh, yeah, I'm using this detangling slip uh, by Cream of Nature. It was, that really helped me because... Honey, if I would have just not been using any tangling, it probably would have pulled out all this hair. But keep in mind, like I said, I was not combing it all the way through. I actually was like stopping, of course, since it's going so fast. I was like stopping a little bit bef before I combed and stuff like that. And honestly, this wig was the softest. Like I ain't had no problem with this wig at all. Like even when I was wearing it, like sis didn't give me no problems. It was super, super soft. And she always came back to normal, so... Let's get into this headband wig. And um, I'm doing the same process, each and every one, putting that detangler and slip, trying to get it, you know, easier so that way I won't have to use that rat tail comb as much. And I honestly didn't. Um, this wig was pretty um, simple and easy to do. Um, I finger detangled that one and just at the top I used the comb because I needed to get the, get the roots to the top nice and fine. And I wasn't combing it all the way through. I just kind of like pricked it a little bit and just wherever it stopped I took the comb out start again wherever it stopped start again um just so like I said it won't pull out under the hair and um very little hair came out not gonna lie I was pretty proud of this uh wig this wig would stand a lot honey because I was throwing this wig on wherever and whenever I got a chance okay um but yeah I didn't really do, not do too much I would just wanted to detangle it first before I get into um, using the uh, silicone mix and getting it back to normal. So here's the silicone mix. I used a nice fair amount, as you guys can see. I used a nice chunk, a glob of it, and just went in on each and every wig and put it on there, uh, saturated the wig, made sure I did that. Um, that's the hair right there that came out of <laughs> that wig. I know I'm dirty. I should have been cleaned it, but I mean, hey, look, everybody ain't always tidy every time they do these wigs. We just got to get to it, get through it, okay? And my back was on fire, okay? Because I was standing in a, a weird angle and I had to make sure you guys could see some parts. You see my elbow more than you can see the hair, but we're not going to talk about that. I'm just trying to let y'all know, like, just before y'all start judging. But... <laughs> Um, I just finger detangled this one because it didn't really give me a hard time. I didn't need the, the rat tail comb as much. I just got in there wherever I could. And then I uh, put a little bit more silicone mix on there and then just let it sit off to the side. And I did the same thing with each and every wig. This wig, I did a little bit. I did something different um, because this wig was already soft. Like I told y'all, this wig was absolutely bomb. Despite the lace when I first got it, it was horrible. But... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you know how to manipulate a lace and get it back to normal, then you know you can make a do what it do. But um, I put the bamboo silicone mix up on there, and then I put that crystal clear um, right here on it because it brings a shine on this wig like none other. And I definitely like straight hair to look shiny. I do not like that dull dry bob look like we is not trying to give that we trying to give high shiny bobbing in the wind okay and i just basically calmed that through um as i said before this wig was not tangly at all very 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 minimum sh uh shedding so it may look like i'm going a little rough but honestly no hair came out like i'm pretty impressed like amazon y'all got y'all one okay so yeah, I just finished combing that in, and then I set it to the side. It's already looking shiny. Next, um, I'm on to this last wig. Now, this was the wig that I kind of be like, ugh, so annoying because it detangles, it tangles up so easy. So I was really delicate with this one. I honestly sped it up because it was such a long process. I put a little bit of that crystal clear on there, the rest that was left, because this wig needed a little shine, and I needed those curls to be really, really cute. But um, I uh, combed that one out. It looked like I was going rough. I probably was. I don't know. <laughs> but I needed this wig to get back to normal. But I didn't do it to the top part, because she's already balding, as I mentioned. But nonetheless, we got her together.
So now that I've, you know, put all that on there, I think I kept that on the wigs for approximately maybe 20 minutes at the most, maybe 15 minutes at the most. And I rinsed out this bob first because I want you guys to see the shine in this hair. Like, despite the water making it shiny, I mean, look at that. So cute. And I um, used my Restoring Shampoo, which the little I had left, <laughs> and um, the OGX Shampoo mixed that together and got in there. Rinsing off that... Um, you know the silicone mix and of course that crystal clear make sure y'all cleaning the inside of them caps honey because them caps be giving mildew and i do not like doing that be smelling once you take them wigs off so get inside the wig caps too don't forget that like that is an important key fact and uh yes i did use hot water because honey that silicone mix needed to um to set in a little bit more and definitely penetrate those uh tresses so next I used the conditioner, I got in there and I turned the water from hot to a little bit of cool um, because whenever you're conditioning hair, you want to make sure that the water is at a cool temperature, um, locking in those, it's not pores, but we want to lock in that, the, the um, products that we used on there. So as you guys see, I turned off the water and then I turned it on like a cool setting and then I rinsed it off. And then I'm going to repeat this process for the other two wigs um making sure that i'm bringing them out and setting them to the side and look at that shine so just get into it um not really much the same process is going to happen each and every wig and then once i'm finished washing and conditioning each wig and washing that cap honey i will be back okay so get into it so of course you guys know i'm gonna show you guys how it looks on my head and how good this is like by far my favorite i get the most views on tiktok from this video alone because honey she was giving everything she needed to give and yes i cut styling everything you guys already know how i do customization is by far my favorite 
I love taking a wig from nothing to something, honey, okay? This hair feels amazing. This is my Love Me hair. This is the headband wig. And I got this super bomb headband from my local beauty supply. But this hair is so cute. I actually just took down some two strand twist. And this is how they look. It's so soft. This is cute, styling and profound. Now I'm swimming. <laughs> last but not least um this is the uh wig by yolova hair i did a previous video on this unit and i'll be sure to put the link for that video below and of course like i said i'm giving you guys of a pickable of how it looked when i first got it this um video right here was everything um but she's still giving scalp like she's still giving tropical she's still giving a little foreign okay and um yeah that is pretty much it i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video uh please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my channel and always remember nevertheless never stress always bless okay bye